Hey everybody, good morning. It's Todd Martin here with Amped Realty. And listen, I, I know this is just kind of a, an impromptu meeting this morning, uh, but I did a report yesterday on forbearance and some news has come to light and I wanted to bring everybody up to it just, or, or bring everybody up to snuff just as soon as possible. Um, I, and I found some disturbing news that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. Uh, with regards to forbearance and actually it was a little disheartening to me as well. So um, let's just jump right into it um, and I'll, I'll post this link below, but this is actually a link uh, to the Relief Act bill uh, through Congress and uh, through finding some information, come to find out that there is a way that the banks can screw you and the lenders can screw you. So you've got to be very, very careful on this. Now, with regards to um, uh, to your protection and your credit rating, okay? If we come down here and the area that we're gonna look into is into, uh, as we scroll down through here, just so if you wanna read it yourself, uh, we are in, and you can see this is pretty lengthy, so a lot of this, and it's just, it's absolutely mind blowing. Um, if you have time, well, who doesn't have time right now, right? Um, so 4021, uh, uh, credit protection during COVID-19. Um, and as we jump into uh, the credit protection in COVID-19, uh, you'll see that this bill is actually written to protect the individuals. Um, in, in, 40, in 4021, the credit protection during COVID-19, one of the things that you'll see here is accommodations, okay? And I think we talked a little bit about what accommodations mean. And accommodations are if you've got going on right now. So as far as fair credit reporting, if you're late in your mortgage and you ask for forbearance, you're gonna continue to report late, okay? That's gonna continue to negatively affect. Um, it, a, an accommodation can mean a skipped payment, accommodation can mean that you're not up to par, but once you get up to par, everything should be fine. Now, if we look here, reporting, uh, except as provided in clause triple uh, I, Except as provided in clause triple I, if a furnisher makes an accommodation with respect to one or more payments on a credit obligation or account of the consumer and the consumer makes the payment or is not required to make one or more payments pursuant to the accommodation, the furnisher shall, and talks about here, uh, you know, report that the obligation is um, Again, uh, this talks about maintaining the delinquency status, okay? Uh, and this also talks about if the consumer brings the credit obligation or account current during the period described, a uh, obligation account as current. Again, remember we talked about this in the um, know what that contract says. Okay, now here's the loophole that I just found um, with regards to uh, reporting to the credit bureaus. Okay, there's nothing in here that says that they can't note your account that you are in forbearance. They can report it as current, but they can add a note to Transparian, uh, excuse me, uh, Equifax, TransUnion, and uh, the third one, which escapes me at the moment, but um, they can add a note to your credit bureau, and in some cases, what I've just found out is in people that have excellent credit, once they see that note, they're going in, and basically what they're doing is they're searching for the word forbearance, and they're knocking credit scores down 25, 50, 75 points. So you've got to be careful when you, and, and think about this, when we talk about negotiating with the banks, okay? Know, know what that contract says, okay? That's the biggest thing, know what that contract says. And if for some reason, again, you're not comfortable, don't sign it. Make sure that they say that they're going to report you fairly to the credit bureaus, okay, and that you are in a current status and make sure or have them add in that they will not note that your account is in forbearance, okay? That is a big deal and you've got to be very, very careful about that. So again, if you ask uh, and you don't want your credit destroyed or ruined or have to build back up after all this is over, um, there's two things you can do. One is negotiate it and if you get it negotiated to where you're comfortable, do it and if not, Try your darndest not to go into forbearance because this could have a negative effect on your credit, okay? So be careful, read over it. I'll post the link um, below for the bill. And uh, always, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can reach us here in the office at 200 1980 or shoot me an email, Todd at Amped Realty, and happy to get back to you, okay? So take care, everybody. Be safe, and uh, we'll be back on at noon uh, with a little, bit more, um, a little bit more information with regards to the current market and what to expect. Thanks, talk to you soon.
拜拜。